That's it. 5 a.m. over here in Sato Pant, beautiful Himalayan valley next to Badrinath. Wow, this is my fourth day over here. Haven't seen anybody for a few days, but God, the mountains are alive. This uh, gorgeous sunrise this morning. Uh, it's unbelievable. It's freezing, freezing at night. I woke up maybe, uh, you know, 3 a.m. totally shaking. Decided to go out and take some, uh, you know, do some, uh, some asanas, some yoga, and some dynamic breathing and warm myself up in whatever way I could. But the reward is right here. Look at this. This is uh, just pure, absolute bliss, contemplation, quietness, an ideal spot to, uh, to invoke the deepest forces of the universe and uh, send you some gorgeous, vibrant bliss. As I was saying yesterday, this is, uh, you know, Lake Satopant. At my tent, just down there. Uh, maybe you can see a little bit. Uh, and I'll be probably staying another another three days before I go back to Badrinath, which, which is about two days' walk from from here, one to two days. And uh, yeah, this is a this is pure transcendental beauty, bliss. It's very challenging to be here, of course, because it gets uh, gets freezing cold during the night. It's quite hot during the day, and uh, you know have uh, little food for for survival, and uh, see nobody. It's not exactly comfortable, but uh, I can meditate in this uh, in this little cave and uh, do some practice during the day. It's ideal for regeneration. The sun just rose a few minutes ago, singing some mantras to the gods and goddesses of the mountains. And uh, yeah, I hope your life is as happy and beautiful as it can be. And if not, here is some bliss, some beauty, some joy, some uh, power to you. I love you.